ओम शांति बिकमिंग पावरफुल थ्रू रियलाइजेशन इन दिस ब्राह्मीण लाइफ फॉर कॉन्स्टंट प्रोग्रेस our realization power and transformation power must be increasing gradually and gradually these are the very important powers in our life realization power and power of transformation realization power is related with the understanding of godly knowledge and transformation power is related with yoga as much our understanding power of godly knowledge is increasing the power of realization is increasing we are having some shortcomings or weaknesses or some stresses of vices in the soul but until we are not getting the realization of our weaknesses we are not working on them we are not paying attention for transforming them that is why listening of babas murli is good thing we must have love for babas murli but there is a deep secret in every baba's version and if we really would like to understand that secret we must churn that point through churning we can understand the real secret up that point the meaning of full knowledge full soul is
Full yoga means constant yoga with Baba. Because knowledge is theory and yoga is a practical proof of that theory. Realization means the real I, the eye of intellect is opening. As much we are getting the realization, the re this real I always remain open. And through this real eye, we can visualize clearly and deeply our weaknesses or our virtues. Maya is always trying to close this real eye. We must try for what? To keep this real eye open. Baba had given us this special gift Of what? The eye of wisdom, eye of knowledge, eye of intellect. The eye of intellect must be clean. There must not, must not be any dust in that eye, on that lens. As much this eye would be clean, that much clear understanding or clarity would be there. We would be able to visualize, to visualize clearly and deeply our true form that is a soul and Baba's true form that is a supreme soul. That is why through churning of godly knowledge we must increase our realization power gradually and gradually in our life. After that, we need to have transformation power. Many times, we are listening comments from the low kick people. Oh, you are practicing yoga, Raj Yoga. But there is not change in your life. You become angry, you have feeling. What is the use of this Raj Yoga? We are better than you. We are practicing yoga, but we are not able to transform our old samskars, why?
for transforming our sanskar old sanskar we really need to have powerful yoga fiery form of yoga volcanic form of yoga powerful yoga not only yoga yoga must be powerful for instance if we would like to melt gold in a liquid form it needs specific degree of temperature powerful fire in the same way for melting the traces of the vices we really need to have powerful yoga especially at amrut vela or in evening yoga we must experience such type of the powerful yoga then automatically we could observe transformation in our life the level of transformation power will increase gradually and gradually and we can become free from the that traces of vices baba has said you have to do intensive yoga powerful yoga because you have to become a real gold there is a lie of impurity in that gold for melting that alloy we need to have that powerful yoga otherwise we may be the brahmins for 10 years 15 years we may not observe any transformation or any change in our life we have come to baba for transforming our sanskars old sanskars and we are imbibing divine qualities also in our life that needs also yoga power and for developing realization power and for increasing the transformation power every day we need to revise and realize and remind some points
if you revise some points, important points, automatically you can become powerful. You can become Master Almighty. And mainly there are ten points. If you revise these ten points, gradually and gradually, you can become powerful. Every day at Amrutvela, remind yourself that I am Master Almighty Soul. I am not only a soul, I am Master Almighty Soul. If you would have the awareness of this point, then automatically you can create that type of the powerful thoughts in your mind and you could experience some powers, divine powers in your life. Maintain higher consciousness, positive consciousness, powerful consciousness that I am Master Almighty Soul. Each and every souls have tremendous powers within themselves. And we must awake that powers. And for awakening these powers, we must maintain that I am Master Almighty Soul. Second point. I am future world ruler. Now we are ordinary. But very soon, in the golden age, we would become the world ruler, kings, kings of kings. We are experiencing now self sovereignty. We are becoming the master of our mind and intellect and samskars. And by the result of that, in future we would be world ruler, king of kings. For becoming Future world ruler, I must have powerful stage. I must have controlling power and ruling power. If you have this awareness, then automatically you could experience powerful stage throughout the day. We would change this costume, bodily costume, and we will get the costume of kings, 
King of Kings. Third point I am an ancestor soul of this world. Ancestor soul. I have to donate these powers to the many souls. Because that is our duty, to help the souls of this world. So to sustain these worldly souls, that is the duty of ancestor souls. That's why I must become powerful. And if you remind that, if you revise that, if you realize that, then automatically you could feel, you could be in that position and you could immerse powers. And you could maintain that powerful stage. Fourth aspect is the source of my powers is unlimited. The source of my power is unlimited. I can receive as much as I want powers from that source that is unlimited, infinite. I have right on Baba's powers. I should claim my inheritance from my father, from that source. Only I need to maintain consistency in that connection. That's why we must have proud. The, my, the source of my powers is unlimited. I have to become powerful just by receiving that powers. And I have to make others also powerful. Fifth aspect is I have stopped negativity and waste thoughts. I always have positive thoughts. Positive thoughts means powerful thoughts, means power. My teacher taught me, my supreme teacher taught me, How to stop negative and waste thoughts? 
and how to maintain positive thoughts. And when I would have power, positive thoughts means I can experience power, I can become powerful. Keep on wearing the lens of positivity on this third eye. Keep on wearing the lens of positivity on this third eye, eye of intellect, and maintain positive attitude, positive vision. And become powerful. I must not observe negativity of any soul. I must observe positivity in every soul. That's why I must have positive vision, positive attitude, pure attitude. Then if I really maintain this positive thoughts, positive attitude, then I can become powerful gradually and gradually. Because I stopped the leakage of negative and waste thoughts. I already stopped the leakage of negative and waste thoughts. Sixth aspect is my energy and thoughts are unidirectional. My energy and thoughts are unidirectional. Unidirectional means focused on a particular object and focus means powerful when thoughts are scattered we can lose power when our thoughts are unidirectional then we could feel energy we could feel power Thoughts are like living waves, living waves. Through that, through the medium of thought, our energy, our vibrations are spreading in this atmosphere. And when we are focusing our thoughts on a particular object, then we could feel powerful. That's why concentration power is necessary. For having powerful yoga, Determination and concentration power is necessary. We must sit in yoga with full determination. I would like to experience powerful yoga anyhow today. Have that full determination. Along with that, have full concentration in that process of yoga.
then definitely your yoga would be powerful. When there won't be determination, you are sitting in yoga, but you are not determined. Yoga will not be powerful. Seventh aspect. I am an extraordinary soul. I am a special soul. When God was looking on the land of America or Russia, His eye was on me and He select me. Because of the speciality, He chose me. Come please, I want your help. You have speciality. I want to use your speciality in this elevated task of transformation. He send instrument and He pick you up. He adopt you. Because you are a special soul. Millions and millions of souls are there, but out of that million souls, He select you. You are a special soul. God's eye is on you. Director of this unlimited drama, I have direct connection with the director of this unlimited drama. He is always giving me special direction for playing unique role, special role in this unlimited drama. I am proud of that. I have connection directly with the director of this unlimited drama. I am a hero actor. I am a special actor. I must help other souls. I must cooperate other souls. That's why anyhow I have to become powerful. Because I have that responsibility. To make others powerful, to help other souls also. At the point is, I am on the world stage. The whole world is watching my every action. That is why I must give my best performance. Because I am on world stage. All worldly souls are watching me. That is why my face must be cheerful, like a blossoming flower. 
and powerful as well. I must donate happiness and power through my face. Because unlimited souls are watching my face. I am not alone. I am on the world stage. If you would have that type of the awareness, then automatically you can maintain that powerful stage. Many souls must get inspirations from my face. If you would have cheerful face and powerful face, you would be able to face any problem. You would be able to face Maya. If you would be, your face must be cheerful and powerful. Ninth point. I am victorious soul. I am very special child of God. He is giving me special treatment every day at Amrut Villa. He is giving me special sustenance, special treatment. What he is doing for me? The moment I open my eyes, Siv Baba in Brahma Baba's medium is coming down and standing in front of me, being in front of me. And he puts the dart of soul consciousness on my forehead. Oh, my sweet child, Be soul conscious, be immortal, be eternal. And on that dot he put the tilak of victory. Oh my sweet child, be victorious. All the day long be victorious in this Maya's kingdom. This is my blessing for you. Enjoy victorious stage. And for enjoying that victorious stage, I must be a powerful. The intoxication and happiness of victory must be on our face. In game, one team is getting victory and one team is getting, is becoming defame, losing victory. The team achieve victory, their face is like a blossoming flower. Oh, we are victorious, we are victorious. And those are losing victory, their face is like a dry flower. 
I lost my game. No happiness, frustration. No, I am victorious soul. That is, that is why we must maintain this type of the powerful consciousness, powerful awareness that I am victorious soul. And when you would have the awareness of victorious soul, there would be tremendous confidence and courage in your life. Confidence and courage. Having confidence and courage, this is the sign of victorious soul. Courage and confidence. These are the two special symptoms of victorious souls. Maintain that positive consciousness all the day long and enjoy victorious stage. And tenth aspect is Almighty authority is my father. My father is not ordinary. In Laukic world, minister's son is saying, My father is minister. My father is president. My father is a authority, personality, unique personality. He may have that proud. My father is minister. Truly, my father is an almighty authority. He adopt me. I am receiving his sustenance, directly sustenance from him. I have full right on his powers, treasures. Only the thing that I have to become an obedient child, honest child. I can claim full inheritance from my father if I would be honest child, obedient child. Because of not having that awareness, my father is almighty authority, we are thinking ourself or considering ourself as ordinary soul. This is not just gossip. But in fact, my father is almighty authority. He gave me divine birth. He is giving me sustenance. I am enjoying relationship with him. I have direct connection with him. That's why I'm a, I have intoxication. And proud also that my father is almighty authority. 
if father is like this how the child would be child would be also powerful if the father is rich the child will not be beggar child would be also rich in this same if my father is almighty authority i am also master almighty authority soul i am also a powerful soul like this if we revise time to time this special points then automatically we would be able to experience powerful stage we can maintain we can develop our realization power and power of transformation gradually and gradually at every step in this brahmin life at every steps this realization and power of transformation we need for constant progress this is the sign of good efforts maker having these two powers all the time with them because there is a praise of this two power power of knowledge and power of yoga i the soul must have this power of knowledge and power of yoga when you would have the power of knowledge there won't be any type of fear in your heart you would be fearless and those are going to become a king of king the first sign is to become a fearless those are fearless they can become king of king powerful that is why if i would be near to baba then there won't be any fear in my heart because i am always with almighty authority i don't have any fear because i am always near to my dear baba he is my best companion i am always being in his company i am enjoying his company baba has said this is the time of experiencing powerful yoga the time of ordinary yoga already finish already over now this is the time of having powerful yoga because within this short time we have to change our old sanskars fast and we have to imbibe divine qualities moral values in the soul that's why we need power
and the sign of very good efforts maker is always maintaining zeal and enthusiasms constantly in their life. Maintaining zeal and enthusiasm all the time. This is the sign of very good efforts maker. And for maintaining zeal and enthusiasm, there must be newness in our life. And newness you can get only through churning power. Through churning power we can get some newness. Because you, this is human tendency. When we will not get any newness, we feel bored. This Brahmina life also is bored. No. I am getting, receiving some newness all the time. That's why I am always having zeal and enthusiasm. And because of that, my happy mind, intoxicated mind and intellect, always being connected with Baba. Because of any reason, when we are losing our zeal and enthusiasm, our stage is falling down. And if the degree of intoxication is increasing day by day, it means you are progressing well. This is the sign of progress. Increasing the level of happiness and level of intoxication, this is the sign of spiritual progress. Your intoxication is becoming natural, always increasing, never losing. It means you are a mature soul, mature Brahmin. You will never receive. Maya will never deceive you if you are mature. That is why we must have this art, art of maintaining constant zeal and enthusiasm in this Brahmin life. That's why Baba has said today also in Murli, your face must be cheerful. Hmm? Everybody would like to see cheerful face, smiling face. Don't spend any penny. Just share the smile with everybody. That's why I must be smile on your face always. This is the sign of you are child of God, you are son of God. Sharing smile all the time with everybody. Because we are on the world stage. And this is Baba's desire. I really would like to observe smile on every face of my child.
अपने सुकर्मों के बल पर ही सतयुग में तुमको आना है शिव पिता को अब याद करो can we have now a wonderful unforgettable experience of deep yoga can we have huh? yes or no yes. yes okay just sit then alert keep your back straight and be active Keep eyes open and follow my words. As I sit here, I use the eye of my intellect to visualize clearly and deeply in the center of my forehead that I am a very tiny and shining star
I am a twinkling star real diamond very bright star i am a peaceful soul peaceful star spreading the waves of peace in this complex experiencing sweet silence i am soul radiating the vibrations of purity all around me experiencing wonderful crown of purity surrounding me my existence in this world is just point of divine light as there are dead stars in the sky i am living star on this earth oh how lucky am i I am visualizing and experiencing also my real and royal form that is a point of divine light the soul am sitting in the aeroplane of my intellect (coughs) 
and flying beyond this five elements flying far far beyond the sun and moon and the stars How beautiful is this angelic world It is full of snow white bright divine light I the soul adopt the dress of an angel Oh My sweet Brahma Baba the emperor of an angels is right in front of me and my sweetest baba to baba is also present in him ocean of love bada gives me love me drishti i become lost in the ocean of love Baba tells me that Oh my sweet child Most welcome in this world of angels And enjoy any relationship with me Tells me that experience the relationship of best friend with me. Walk with me. Eat with me. Sit with me. Share feelings of your love with me. And feel you 
your heart with godly love like a man i'm experiencing relations with directly I am so is living coach of angel rays of angel and flying upwards towards Brahma Oh, how wonderful is, is this soul world? It is full of golden red, divine light. It is the world of peace. Oh, incredibly beautiful form of Shiva is in front of me. is a most beautiful being in this world Bob. oh my sweetest baba Suffering in the ocean of sorrow. And you just pick me up, Baba. You adopted me, Baba. And put me in your lap. In the swing of super sincere powers, joy, Baba. You are so merciful, Baba. 